What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan here, bringing you another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And currently, I'm going to kill some pigs. And a chicken or two. Thank you. And thank you. Uh, actually, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update and to show you what I've been working on and what I am working on right now. So you guys kind of have an idea of what's going on. I know it's been a while since I put up my last video. I've been uh, just dealing with some health issues. And uh, I've been involved with some other things. Trying to deal with some personal life matters. And haven't just had a real big chance to even get on the computer. More or less post any or record any videos. Oh, you little turd. Come here. There you go. What I did do though is I created a little type of animal farm over here. We got the moo cows. And we have ourselves some pigs. And of course I've been making some multicolored sheep. So far we have black, white, blue, red, and green, and brown. And then we have another chicken farm that's closer than the other one. Look at that. More eggs. It produces pretty well. I have quite a few chickens in there right now. I'll show you guys. Yeah, you can see I've been able to produce quite a few chickens. And so they, they produce a good number of eggs. I'm not adding any more chickens right now, because I think I have enough. Uh, but later I may add some more. I may actually make this bigger. Or do multiple. You know, like have three of these. You know, another one here, another one next to it that are that size. And do it that way. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet how I want to handle that. But what I do want to show you guys that I've been working on... Yes, I know it's my awesome pick I just used. I want to show you guys the slime farm that I started. And so far it's working out pretty good. I have a, last time I checked I had a couple slimes that did spawn in the chunk. So I was able to find the slime chunk pretty easily and get some slimes to spawn there. And luckily there was a slime chunk literally right next to the entrance to the stronghold that we found. So it's kind of nice. I have I have a slime farm right next to the right next to my uh, stronghold. Which I think is pretty awesome. Let's see if I can do this without hurting myself. Woot! Alright. Let's see. Oh, I bet you they despawned. I had a couple here earlier before I came to, uh, before I went to get my looting sword and start the video. They were on this level here. Rats. Oops, fell in the hole. So I actually went to get my awesome sword of looting. So that way when I kill the slimes I can get more slime balls. And my mouse is screwing up. Hang on. Alright, there we go. So actually what I do want to do though is not use my... I'll use my silk touch on these. I wanted to collect these blocks. So I actually, can, instead of having to go and smelt more smooth stone, I can collect it. What I'm going to do actually here 
is finished clearing out these couple levels. I still haven't figured out the best killing system that I want to use. And I still need to work on the transport system once they fall to the next level. Because basically I'm going to have a killing system and then they're going to, it's going to make them the little single slimes. And they're going to come down here to this very bottom level. And I'm probably going to do one level beneath it. Oh, see, there's a slime. Whoop, three slime balls. Nice. So I'm going to probably go two blocks further down here. And you. Oh, I need to go drop some stuff off too. So I'm probably going to actually go two blocks down and make a transport system that will bring them all the way back up to us up top. Since the slimes do jump, I should be able to do a similar um, mob evader like I did with the skeletons. And do a single wide mob, mob evader and bring them up somewhere. Maybe I'll funnel them all to like this back corner here. Actually, let me turn down the sound on this really quick. That lightning gets kind of loud. So we'll do like the mob evader. We'll push them all. Actually, we'll probably funnel them down both sides all the way. And then we'll funnel them back to the middle. And we'll mob evade them up to here in the middle back here where we can kill them at. That should work. And then that way we can just bring them all up to us up here and then kill them with the looting sword. But that's kind of what I'm planning to do. So now what I gotta do is finish clearing it out and then I need to figure out a way to kill them without killing them. Like I need to figure out a way to take out the big ones. And these and the, the, the three block and the two block and the two block wide ones. That way I can turn them into the single ones, the little ones that'll fall down the hole accordingly. Ah fail. And so that's what I'm working on. But as you can see I've I've spent a quite a bit of time clearing this out. I've gone through a couple of picks now. But luckily this one should last me a while because it's a uh, uh, efficiency 3, unbreaking 3, silk touch 1 pickaxe. So I imagine this one should last and I won't go through this in the process of doing this. But yeah, you guys, um, what else do you guys want to see in here? Anything in particular? Uh, I'm working on the slime farm because I need more slimes for sticky pistons and stuff. And then after I get the slime farm done, I'm going to we're actually work on building a farm. Though what I want to do for a farm is uh, I probably want to work on my underground base a little more and then put the farm underground in one of the wings of the castle. What's up, Mr. Enderman? Come play with me. My knockback looting sword will definitely give me... Ooh, heck yeah. Now that I like. Um, three eyes of ender. That is just awesome. Oh, there we go. Lapis. Iron. Yeah, I've been picking up a ton of redstone and everything else while well, I've been working on this thing. Oh, no more room. 
Yeah, that's three eyes of ender we can turn into, uh, let's see, I think I need fermented spider eye. I'll have to go look it up. I can't remember what the recipe is to make the uh, eyes of ender for the portal, but I know we're getting pretty close. If I can kill a few more endermen, then we'll be that much closer. So, until that point... Oh, I did have one. Okay, good. I'll have to make another chest later. Alright. So, what I need is stone. Stone bricks, some wood, some glass, some more stone, and wood. Oh, I need glowstone too. And the glowstone. Alright, so I'm going to go down and finish clearing out those couple areas, and then I will be back with you guys momentarily. Alright, YouTube, I am back. And you can hear we have slimes currently spawn. What we're going to do is we're going to go kill them with the looting sword and see how many slime balls we get. I've already killed a couple, so I have 49 slime balls. Let's see how many I actually get from killing them. Next level. Die, you little buggers. Die. All right. So we had 49 for the to begin with. This should be actually fairly lucrative as a slime farm, especially if I'm using a, uh, a looting sword. Let's see, any more in this one? Oh, I missed one up top. Is there any down here? No. Luckily, they all come to me eventually, if I stand still. They're not very bright, they just jump towards you. They don't care if they're going to die miserably. And let's see... And see, I may just make a killing system that kills them and gives me their slime balls. Because I'm not necessarily really interested in... the experience because I have my XP grinders. I'm more interested in the slime balls anyways. So oh, one more up. Hello Mr. Slime. Give me your slime balls. Woot. Alright. Total is uh, stack and a half. So we'll just say that this was 50. No, it was 49, which means we got 15, 45, 109 slime balls from killing all those just now. That is just awesome. And I made it so that way it's a quick, easy drop. When I get their killing system in place, I'll fix this. But for now, if I can not do that, I added some water. 
on the four corners so we can drop down. So now I just need to, to figure out the best way to do a killing system for these guys. And the best way to do a mob baiter for them. But I'm going to do all that stuff probably in my creative world off camera. And then once I've figured it out, I'll walk you guys through how I set it up and how I do it. But at least these uh, slime balls will last for a while. Plus we already had an additional stack. Yeah, so I mean, that's like four stacks of slime balls there at least. Almost four entire stacks of slime balls. It's pretty darn good if you ask me. So what I'm going to do next probably is go hunt with me some Endermen. In fact, we can go upstairs and see if it is nighttime and go Endermen hunting ourselves. Hopefully none of you guys get dizzy from this. It is nighttime. Whoop. Mr. Piggy, you're gonna die out here. See, he told you. Let's go find us some Enderman. I wanna go to the end and kill the dragon. So I can I can make me an Enderman farm. Because having a uh, an Enderman farm would make leveling and getting experience so much easier. Hello, Mr. Creeper. Yes, taste my knockback sword. Nice. Can we say TNT? don't see any Endermen yet, but I can find them. Ooh, hordes of skeletons and zombies. You will not kill me. You will die. I don't think so, Home Slice. not nice to hit people. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you hit me. You die. Jerks. No Enderman that way. I think I need like 12 Ender Pearls to make this happen. If I can get three per kill, that means I need three more Endermen. And there's two right there. Woo, come on, bring it on. Really? I got one? Freaking lame, man. I killed you with my looting sword. I should have gotten, like, at least two. Give me your gunpowder. Yes, gunpowder is my friend. I'm not healing, that would be a problem. I bet I don't have a speed potion handy. I can remedy this. I'll be curious to see how my, my village looks with a new gravel texture pack in 1.3. Actually, I can't wait for 1.3. I can 
I'll have to update my texture pack though so it includes my clear glass, but that's not a big deal. That's like five minutes of work, if that. But I'll be curious to see what my pathing looks like here with the new gravel texture pack. Die, chicken. Thank you. And... Brewing stand! Alright. Unless I have some made already, which I do not. So I'll need some sugar. Some nether warts. And I'm pretty sure some redstone. Oh, where'd my glass go? And some redstone. Oh, and we need a workbench. Wait, maybe I have some glass bottles? No. Okay. So... We need to make... Three glass bottles. Mr. Brewing Stand. I really can't wait till I can shift click these things into there. Come on, 1.3, you need to come out sooner. I really don't think I need to use looting on these things. Because I have tons of bones. Oh, look at that. I got harming potions in here. Or instant health. Very nice. But yeah, I don't really think I need... ...many more bones. But I guess you can. You can never have enough. Alright. And while I'm here... as well harvest my sugar cane. Actually, while I'm here... Probably look cooler as a redstone lamp, but I don't feel like making a redstone lamp. And oh, we don't need the zombie flesh in there. Mr. Incinerator. All right, so I don't need you or you. We'll keep the stone. Redstone I'll use in a minute. Uh, we'll need the spider eyes. Planks. Okay. And we'll add the redstone to turn it into eight minute potions. Definitely don't need to use a looting sword on these guys. I'm not even carrying a bow on me, that's kind of bad. There we go. Woo! Potion to speed! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. I gotta love me speed potions. Alright. Now. 
actually. Go ahead and cook this real quick. Uh, ooh, heck yeah, another ender pearl. And I'm thinking why this is cooking. I'm gonna go look up the recipe for an eye of ender and I will be with you guys momentarily. Alright, I'm back. Actually, it turns out all I need is some blaze powder. Which, I happen to have some blaze rods in my chest over there. And that'll give us two eyes of ender. And we'll make the rest of them when we get back to the other base. So... I got six pork chops in now. So we'll go ahead and leave the rest of them where they're at. What I want to do is go hunt me some Endermen. Ah, oh, it's raining. I think they run away in the rain. Damn, you suck, spider. Ah. Oh, jerk, you messed up my road. Really? Punk? And you? What were you thinking? No! Oh, you dirty freaking... That's it. Creepers must pay. I don't think I have enough gravel on me to fix this. Or sand, for that matter. Eh, I hate creepers. Alright, let's go see if I left any extra sand. In the desert over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirt will help. Oh, cobblestone, cobblestone, come on, gravel, ah, gravel. All right, we can rebuild it now. We can rebuild it. Stupid fur creepers. If only the stuff didn't blow up so darn easy, it'd be a little bit better, but... No! Yeah, yeah, I know, I don't have a shovel. This is my super awesome efficiency on breaking pick, so I don't really care. At least at the moment. I'll have to go get me one of my uh, shovels here eventually. But for now. There we go. Sand. Perfect. Well, let's make sure we run the path first. Oh, that's going to be gravel. Ooh, almost. Sorry, I if I left this, it would drive me crazy. So I had to fix it. I just had to. I'm sorry. Nah. Five gravel. I know I grab more. There it is. I'm like, where did my gravel go? There we go. All fixed. But now it's daytime and I can't go Enderman hunting anymore. Boom! I can't wait for 1.3 when these guys can give me stuff. Oh, as you can see, I also built another house. And 
this is just so I can get more villagers to spawn. Um, and if you heard that, that would be my giant beast waking up. I own a 110 pound American Akita. He is a big teddy bear, but he is huge. When he yawns, I am grateful that he loves me and doesn't want to eat my head. Enderman. Because the dude has some huge teeth. And I'm like, I love you puppy, don't kill me. But he's my baby. He's a big, he's a big softy. All he ever wants to do is cuddle and hug people. Alright, I haven't done anything more over here. I know what I was going to show you guys. I was going to show you guys the changes I've done down in the bottom of the castle. But it's going to take me a minute to get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it here and I will be back with you guys when I am down in the bottom of the castle area. Alright, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, awesomeness that is my start of my castle. I'm still working on it, but now we're going to go down into the depths. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys what I had done with the um, TNT down here. But just in case you haven't seen it for a while, I was going to give you an update. So as you can see, I blasted quite a bit of this away with TNT. Just opening it up and giving myself some room to work and to expand. Uh, this is actually going to open up and go straight down. Uh, this is going to kind of be like a, a floating platform, this area here. And then everything else is just going to go straight down from beneath it all the way down to bedrock. Or at least all the way down to like 5 or 6. But you can see I've used a lot of TNT down here to kind of blast it out. Um, and then I got kind of smart with the TNT and started doing it in chunks like this. So it's easier to handle and manage. Uh, but as you can see it ties into some ravines and stuff. So I don't have to do as much. It'll work out pretty well when it's done. I'm pretty happy with the progress I've been making so far with it. And I'm one for uh, entrances all over the place. So we'll have some pretty cool hidden entrances here and there. This is where I actually hid to blow up the, uh, the initial brick area and the formations that were making up the island before it became the island. Yeah, that's the island from beneath. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. I think I just bumped the mic accidentally with my hand. Yeah, I was pretty happy with the way it turned out. It was a lot of fun to make, though it took forever. And I need to make some underground paths between the, uh, the castle and, like, my, um, my little hut over here to go down to the stronghold. Oh, no for you. You must die. And it should be right up here, where it's all nice and lit up. We're going to go put these Eyes of Ender in place and make the other couple that I have down here. Alright. Sweet. Any slimes? Oh, we have a slime.
Come on, little slimes. I want to kill you and take your slime balls. Wow, that's a lot of slimes to take out. Very nice. Very lucrative, I should say. If only I was playing on a multiplayer server, I could sell the slime balls to people. That would be just awesome. Let's see, I wonder if he'll fall through there. Let's see what happens. Let's get you guys to come back in here. All right. And now, follow me. All right, it does work. Nice. I think they would have fallen all the way down here to the bottom. So they can't jump out of that, which is gonna, which is good to know. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how Mob Vader is gonna work with the slimes. I'm gonna have to like create a super flat world in creative and build one. Because you have so many slimes in a super flat, it's really easy to test it. I guess I could spawn slimes. Yep, see, he fell just a second ago too. My hunger is low. Zombie flesh. Real food. Back up. Up, 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 up. We gotta go do the eyes of Ender. And go put them in our... Uh, where'd they go? They're there. We'll put these with some of this. We got five of them. Nice. And I've noticed I have some uh, slime by uh, slime chunks inside the the f stronghold as well. Uh, I've noticed those as I was playing earlier. I'd hear slime jumping, and I was like, where the heck are they coming from? Where the heck are they at, you know? And I'd go wander around the stronghold and run into them, so. All right. Yeah, we're going to need a few more than five, but. Oh, crap. I just lost one. Dang. Misplaced fail. So one, two, three, four, five. I need five more. And we can go to the end. Yeah. Oh, you know, I got a silk touch pick on me right now. I really wish you get silk touch on a darn sword. Let's see if it'll even break this thing. Wow, really? Maybe you can't even break these things with a pick. Eh, we'll see. 
Oh, it did work. But did I actually get it or did it die? So apparently you can't collect spider webs. Lame. There has to be a way to get spider webs. Maybe I can push one with a sticky piston. Maybe. I'm actually going to turn this into an enchanting room in the keep. Or inside of my... Uh, oh look, my phone went off. Inside of my stronghold, I want to turn this into an enchanting room. But I'm considering hiding the enchanting room behind one of the bookcases in the, on the side. Like have one of these bookcases open up. Have a bookcase like in the back or turn this wall into bookcases and have some of them open up to reveal a uh, an enchanting room. I think that would be kind of cool. So, but now... Oh, my speed potion wore off. It was nighttime outside. We're going to go... If it's nighttime outside, we're going to go Enderman hunting. Need you or you or you or you or you. Probably don't need to have the other stuff in there too, but I don't feel like clearing it out. Yeah, I want to. I want to create an entire underground network of my locations. Uh, it's daytime. Either via rail cart or just tunnels or something. But that's down the road. For now, we're just going to do what we do now and run with speed potions. But, anyways, you guys, I'm actually probably going to call it good for now. Oop, we got another one. Yeah. And I'll take this silk touch one. Oh look, we can jump some of this stuff off. Speed potions, stay. Some stone, keep you. Keep you, keep you, drop you off. All right. My room of furnaces where I smelt all of my stone. Yeah, into co or I smelt all of my cobble into stone. And here we go. So yeah, actually, I think I'm going to call it an episode here. And get this uploaded to YouTube for you guys. And then what I'll do is I'm going to continue working on the slime farm. I'm going to work on a prototype of it off camera and see if I can't figure out a way to kill them to the little guy point so that they fall in the hole and then do some sort of a mob evader so that way it brings them back to me or something. I'll figure out a cool trick to make it work. But other than that, you guys, I really appreciate you watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, and I promise I'll be putting more out this week. It was just kind of a, a crazy past couple weeks, and uh, I just had a lot going on. 
but things are kind of calming down a little bit now and my uh, my projects are are slowing down so I'll have a little bit more time to work on my YouTube videos I hope you guys really enjoyed this and uh, take care everybody peace